So let's see. I feel that one significant relationship is going to come to an end this month for a lot of you. Um, I feel that there isn't going to be like, you know, the, the big massive blowout confrontation or anything like that. But I do feel the other person is pretty much going to be at their wits end and they're just not going to tolerate it. I, I feel for those of you who have been in threesome types of situation. Okay. So let's look at this and you're not, I don't feel, yeah, you're not showing up on the spread here. So let's just see your energies. I'm going to use the two one energy as your energy. Okay. Because you're, you're not showing up here. So the first thing here is the three of wands and the three of wands is a card about waiting for your ship to come in. When it's in the reverse position, it means that, you know, the opportunity that you cast or your hopes and aspirations in is being delayed. And I do feel for a lot of you, this is a case about work situation, work projects, and relationships. It's the one energy. It deals with something that we are very passionately invested in. So for a lot of you, um, there might be, let me say this first, male or female, there might be a person that is traveling from overseas or, you know, they're, they're coming, a, a they're coming a distance away in order to see you. And I feel like there are blockages as to them coming to see you mainly because there might be a third party in the relationship. There might be a work situation that was not done right. And as a result, they're stuck there and they can't physically make it to see you. So I do feel communications and uh, travel delays. If it is not you, it's coming in from the other person. If it is you, then I do feel that it is going to be emotionally destabilizing, but I do sense that it's happening for a reason. And I do feel that it's preventing you from some, some, you know, cat to catastrophe down the road. Okay. So let's, that's what I'm sensing first. So the three of wands is also about, um, having options. So this is, you know, romantic prospects having a lot of options on your plate and it's not looking too great when it's next to the devil card. The devil card indicates restriction. It indicates, you know, all these really unhealthy habits, binds, ways of doing things that we're doing that keeps us very stuck. So a lot of it has to do with, you know, in, in like addictions, alcoholism, just um, physical, psychological addictions and dependencies. And it's also being stuck to another person in very toxic codependent relationships. Okay. So that's the first thing I do feel that it is linked up here with the page of cups. So I'm going to say that, um, for Leo men or women out there, I'm picking the energy up that a, a lot of you might be you know, you feel things very passionately. And I believe I mentioned last month that I feel like with Leos, they live life with their whole bodies, with their whole existence, where, you know, your mind, your heart are always in alignment with one another. And you feel things on in a very, very powerful, you know, passionate level. And when you say, you know, you, you first meet somebody and five minutes into a conversation with them and you're really smitten by them and you tell yourself, I think I'm in love with that person. Other people might look at that and think, oh, that's a little bit too premature. But for you, that's what you really, really feel. And if you're, if you really feel that way, no one can tell you that, you know, you're wrong. But my point here is that as a page energy, you give love or you fall in love very, very easily. And I do feel that you want to curb this and you want to think things through a little bit more logically and think about long-term ramifications before you dash into new people, new projects. Okay. Because this is not a, a stable, long sustaining energy. It has the propensity to just burn out. So you can tell somebody, you know, I really, really like you and they believe you. And then a week down the line, you fall out of love with them. And I feel that when you say you love somebody, I feel that you generally mean it, but I do feel that you have the ability to also burn out as well. And, you know, um, giving too much stock into your feelings is just, um, something that you want to steer away from. Uh, let it, I guess, analyze it a little bit, let it, um, sleep on it and see if you still feel the same way a few days later. So don't rush into things. Okay. 
I feel that because it's underneath the devil card, this is one of the things that you're grappling with. Um, having too many options, you know, having too many people that you, you love, having too many projects that you love. And as a result, you're burning out. So you want to be careful. At the same time, I feel that for a lot of you, you might be in a situation where you're very upset Okay, and, and you're you're very upset about something and you're very um, you feel like confronting the other person and you feel like you want some answers because that's what's coming in. Like somebody is demanding answers. So you feel very upset and you don't really want to let the other person go. You don't want to let them off the hook. You're demanding some type of, you know, knowledge, answers, truths, clarity to clear up some uh, something that's been bugging you for quite some time. And I feel like the other person is saying all the right things to appease you, but they're not giving you the truth. So this is something that you want to really keep an eye out for. Be very, very careful about charmers, okay? Like people that charm the socks off you. I feel that you, you are very, um, you know, everyone likes to be flattered, but I feel that as a Leo, you are more prone to it. So be very careful about charming people or like, you know, dealing with people who are very, very charming because they're not very sincere. So you want to just be careful about that. Okay. So let's talk about the rest of the cards here. I feel for a lot of you, you're juggling two things and, um, it's sort of like, you know, the, the spiritual and the physical. So that's what I'm sensing here. Your spiritual side is telling you, you know, that um, there's more to life than just this physical plane. There's, you know, religion, philosophy, higher vibrations, all of these metaphysical things, all of these nice things. And then there's the carnal side. And I feel that the carnal side deals with, you know, sex. It deals with addictions. It deals with all the things that we keep, that we use to either escape from our reality or to keep us in a very low vibrational space. This is unhealthy relationships and ways of uh, looking at our body image, all of these things that distort us, okay, that distort the truth of our world. And I feel like you're, you're doing this juggling process and you're trying to decide, you know, which kind of person do I want to be? And for a lot of you, it is a soul searching type of month where you pretty much have to make decisions when it comes to, you know, what kind of person am I? You know, am I more spiritually evolved? Am I the ones that can, um, I guess, um, I guess, do I have a pure soul is one of those, you know, existential questions that you're asking yourself. And at what point am I going to descend into this? So that that's what I'm sensing is happening here. And it is one of those things where I feel like a lot of temptation might come through for you. And for a lot of you as well, I, I'm sensing this. And I feel like for a lot of you, when it comes to addictions, when it comes to, you know, unhealthy habits, I feel that for a lot of you, you're becoming conscious about your health and you're weeding out a lot of things that are unhealthy for you such as sleeping, you know, around with a lot of um, partners, because that can also bring about, you know, you know, diseases and, and things like that. But I, I feel that you're being more conscious, you're elevating on a higher vibration, and you're starting to think, see things with more clarity, okay, and with more precision, and you're starting to see things in a more holistic manner. It's not about, you know, dating multiple people and, and breaking their hearts. It has a lot more, uh, I guess, long term, longer term ramifications than just that. OK, it denotes like more of a reckless behavior. So you want to be very careful. But I do feel that for a lot of you, you're starting to see, you know, longer term ramifications of your previous actions or yeah, your your previous actions. And I feel as a result of it, you're taking better uh, steps, precautions in order to take care of your health. So that means, you know, quitting drinking, um, not smoking anymore and, and things like that. And I do feel that you're doing that mainly because you're c concerned about your health. 
there might have been very recently some type of a health scare that came in for a lot of you within your family unit. It might be like within your family history. And as a result of it, you're feeling as if you really have to take, you know, this health situation seriously. And if you have children, especially, you do want them to have a good foundation in health. So you're trying something to drastically change your life around for the better. I do feel for a lot of you, it's more like holistic healing, juicing, eating more balanced diet. It can be something like that, or it can be something drastic where you're letting go of some type of, you know, massive addiction that you've been dealing with for quite some time. I feel for a lot of you, it might be drinking. It might be just, you know, uh, drinking excessively and also unhealthy behavior, such as juggling multiple people. Once again, um, we have two queens here. So I definitely feel that for a lot of you, um, you're dealing with water signs and water signs are, um, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel that for a lot of you, it might be, you know, the Piscean energy and you're dealing with air sign. And I feel like this queen here, the, the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The air sign is coming in very beginning, the very beginning of the month, which means that this is not a new person. I feel like it's somebody that is residual energy coming in from January or even from 2015. And I do feel that there is some communication coming through, or well, a lot of communication coming through from this air sign. I feel like for a lot of you, you might be in a very, you know, long standing relationship, either with possibly with a water sign. And there is like a very strong karmic connection. There is a very significant relationship in your life right now that is a very karmic connection. And, it, you know, you, you keep going back to it. And I feel like you're you're going in circles and it's very unstable. So you it's sort of like, you know, when you're on, you're on, and then some days you're off and you're seeing other people is what I'm sensing. So there isn't like a, um, there isn't a, I guess like you can say open relationship. I don't know how that works, but it's, it's sort of like you have some kind of agreement or at least, you know, it's so unstable that you don't give much stock to it and you don't even call it a relationship. And I do feel there is a, a very strong Chem well, there's strong chemistry and you can't really break away from it. But I, I do sense that there is another person that is um, demanding, demanding of you. I'm sensing a very strong um, Pisces vibe with this reading because um, I believe it was the Pisces reading. The card fell out exactly like this. Yeah, it was the Pisces vibe. So for those of you who are dating Pisces, especially, you want to just um, resolve this issue because I feel like it's cyclical. It's not going anywhere and it's really detracting you from it. It's holding you back from really living your life, seeing other people, being in monogamous, committed relationship, because I feel like you've been juggling for so long that you don't even know what it feels like to be stable you know, to be grounded and to be stable. So let it go and just, you know, move on with your life. Okay. I definitely feel for a lot of you, there is, you know, whenever I see the high priestess and the way that the cards came out, it's sort of like this. I feel there are multiple people in the pictures, possibly, possibly two, uh, po if you are dating like a, uh, if you identify, self-identify as a um, Leo woman, I feel that your partner has been juggling for quite some time and this is the month in which potentially you meet the mistress. Not in a good way, but I do feel that the other person is not aware of you and you vice versa might have heard about that there is another person, but this is the month in which, you know, they come into the picture and I feel like this is the month in which you are calmly, calmly confronting your relationship partner and you're calmly, you know, putting your foot down and putting up some ground rules or at least setting that ultimatum. But this is a, a very, you know, Valentine's Day is a very contentious time period where it's a day of love and it's a day where we celebrate love. And for Leos who are juggling multiple people, or if you are being juggled by another person, it's a very painful experience. 
So if you're dealing with this and for some reason there is great, you know, physical attraction, great chemistry and you can't break away from it. Um, just this is the month in which this has to give because you're realizing that uh, focusing more on the carnal aspect of the relationship has left you very emotionally depleted. So you're trying to achieve this where you are trying to uh, elevate yourself to a higher vibration by seeking out relationship partners that are more in alignment with your life path. And it takes some time. It takes some adjustment. And, you know, I call it like growing pains. And it's going to take some time. And it, changes can't happen overnight. So you are still going to be tempted by the other person that you know is not in a, a good relationship partner. But the temptation is going to be there. And it's normal. Just don't succumb to it and don't go back to it, okay? This is the month in which you are going to successfully have some major breakthrough, some major breakaways from previous patterns, unhealthy habits, and things like that. So you're definitely on the right track and don't go back to things, okay? Because I feel that you're you're doing, you're making good progress. And I feel like by the middle of the month, when coincidentally it's the Valentine's Day, when, you know, the 14th, 15th of the month, is when the temptation pulls you back in, you know, the, the person who, whoever it is, whatever it is, whatever the addiction is, whatever the uh, unhealthy tie that you have is, it's calling you. And I feel that it's a test, you know, and so you want to get over it and then you want to move on and you will be okay. So I want you to know that this is a month about sacrificing in, you know, like short-term pleasures, short-term gains for long-term uh, stability. So it is greatly about sacrificing or making concessions and weeding out the things that are no longer good in our lives in order for us to achieve growth that is a lot more meaningful and sustainable and long-term, okay? Um, I also feel this is a month in which for a lot of you, unfortunately, um, because the two queens are falling out, I'm going to say that if you are a Leo male and you're dating multiple people, and it has actually shown up like that for the past few months, if you are dating um, you know, multiple women and you're a Leo male, I feel that the women might know about each other, and it's, it's very uncomfortable. And... Um, I don't feel I don't feel that they're angry with each other because they didn't know or they wouldn't willingly put themselves in that situation. But this is the month in which confrontations can happen, okay? But you really have to set the record straight and you really have to step up and fix the karma that you're sowing. So this is very very karmic. It's also a situation where Feelings will be hurt and things will be, you know, uh, things can't be fixed. So this is pretty much the last leg of a, a very long, difficult journey. And you really need to set things right. And, you know, in any situation, if you are in a, a, a relationship and you know your significant other has somebody else, and somehow you're just in it for the ride, you really have to get yourself out because it is a karma sowing, you know, type of month and it is not looking great, okay? So, you know, aim to be the bigger person, aim to be the better person, aim to forego your earthly desires in in for spiritual expansion. I feel that that's where we need to go as a human race, but that's also where we have to make those difficult decisions to forego our temptations or to, you know, not give in to our temptations when we know that it's not good for us. So this is something to keep in mind, Leos. Um, for those of you who are dating a water sign, and I feel like if it's a new water sign, you want to take it very, very slow if it's a new water sign. And I feel like if it's a new water sign, it would have happened during the Mercury in retrograde. So it would have been problematic anyways. If you are seeing a new air sign, so that is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, this person I feel is like, um, they have a lot of questions for you. 
and I feel like they're very directed and they might come into love with an agenda. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like they're looking more for a commitment. They've been through, you know, the, the Queen of Swords is traditionally a divorced woman. And when I think of a divorced woman or a divorced person, I usually think about somebody who has seen it all. They've been, they've dealt with liars, cheaters, and all of that. You know, they, they understand human nature. They understand the whole emotional roller coaster of being in a marriage. So I feel that they're, they have this, you know, internal radar for BS. So I also sense because of it, they are going to ask important questions. And I feel like a lot of you, if it's an air sign, you know, male or female, they are going to ask a lot of questions. If you're concealing information, it is going to come to light because they're very analytical. So it's something to keep in mind and, you know, possibly very, very highly psychic intuitive as well. Um, the water sign, not so much. I feel like if it's a new water sign, it's, um, you want to take it slow if you want it to work. If it's an old water sign, they are quickly exiting your life and you, I don't feel there's any way it can come back together, but there is a lot of physical chemistry and a lot of temptation associated with this, okay? So let's talk about your financial situation. I do feel that um, you have more than enough and you have to really budget to live within your means, but I feel like there is a penchant for luxury goods. You want to live the good life. And I feel that for a lot of you, this is where the, the drain on your finances is. It's not about, you know, not having enough. It's more just living within your means is what I'm sensing. Um, I do have here the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. This is a situation where, you know, overcoming mental anxiety and anguish, when it's in the reverse, it's, it looks very good. You're overcoming it and your ties to money is going to be... Um, your whatever you know unhealthy ties unhealthy ways of thinking about money of making money or whatever it is you are coming to a place where you're realizing that money is just a material thing and at least your financial situation is going to stabilize enough where you're starting to see clarity when it comes to how you relate yourself to money in the past okay the devil is also greatly about status consciousness i feel it's um it's kind of like a situation where the i guess like the mirror image of it is is similar to the hierophant but the hierophant deals more with spirituality whereas the with the devil once again it is more earthly desires and things like that so i do feel that this is the the month in which you know spiritual truths Spiritual elevation is going to help you break away from all the binds that have kept you down in the past and for you to understand the the power, money, status, um, people, addictions and things like that have um, kept you down. Okay, so this is like you're starting to see this for what it is and you're starting to see that in order to break away from it. You, you are going to have to, you know, pursue things more on the metaphysical level and elevating your vibration. I feel that that's what's coming in here. And that's why the High Priestess is showing up too. It is a very spiritual card. Spiritual card. Um, I also feel as well with the High Priestess, it's um, information being revealed so that we can make better informed decisions, okay? It is a card about intuition, but she's holding a scroll. And every time I see this, I always feel like, there is some information that a lot of you Leo women, well, men too, but there is some information that you're privy to and you have to share it with the world because air signs are communicators. If you have a message that you want to get across, I feel that you want to disseminate it to an air sign and they are going to help you spread the message in order for you to uplift people in some way. So don't hold, into, don't hold on to secrets don't retain secrets. It needs to be shared. Okay. Something needs to be shared. And I feel like it might be related to health. It might be related to somebody's um, unhealthy behaviors or just, you know, health status. I feel greatly there is health relationships, sex, and things like that all mingled in together. And it can be very, very damaging. So, you know, I hope that the message gets across, but I do feel that Asking, you know, before you get involved with a new relationship partner for this month, really try to get to the bottom of this and figure out, you know, 
what's your status by the way and, and things like that so you know figuring out where you stand with another person that you are romantically linked with who they've been with who they're still linked up with is going to be very important for you because I do feel that love triangles and you know confrontation and things like that would be it's coming into the picture okay so leos please take care of yourself i hope you enjoy your valentine's day nonetheless but you know if you're in any type of threesome juggling situation just get out of it it's it's not going anywhere okay <laughs>